Guys, it's Mrs. Ellis here going over the American journey rhythms that I gave you. First slide looks like this. This one's actually fairly easy if you just take out the tie in there. So if you were to remove that tie, that would make it a lot easier for you. You'd get the one, two, and three, and four, and. But look here, if those are tied together, you would get this for a rhythm. One, two, and, and four, and one, two, three, four. The next one's pretty straightforward. Just make sure that your long notes are long enough. Would look like this. And it would sound like this. Three, four, one, and two, three, four. Hold out those long notes. Next one's pretty straightforward as well, except for this first beat. Remember this symbol right here? That's the first symbol you see, so that's your beat one. There's your end of beat one. The rest is pretty straightforward. So that one's going to look like this and sound like this. And two, three, four, one, two. Don't forget to tie that all the way through beat four. Next one is going to be seen with the percussionist more. Remember, if you watch my other video, we talked about the double beam, 16th notes, versus the single beam, 8th notes. So this is what you would have gotten for an answer there. And again, this is what it would sound like. One, two, three E and a four, and one E and a two, and three E and a four, and... Next slide kind of resembles a slide that we did, did earlier. Remember this right here, your eighth rest is beat one. There's your end of one. Now this over here, remember, if you watch my slide, we were talking about the four fingers. The dotted eighth note is gonna be three of those 16th notes hooked together, the one, the E, and the and. So this makes this the a. Uh. So there's the answer right there. It'll sound like this. And two, and three, four, one, a two. And again, hold out that dotted half note. This one here is pretty straightforward. Be very, very careful when you get to this symbol right there. You've used up beat one, you've used up all of beat two. That's the beginning of beat three. Remember, it's the beginning of beat three, so there is the end of three. And there are two eighths and a quarter, so not only is that the end of three, but it's the beginning of beat four, which gives you that as the end. That rhythm's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, and, and one. Again, hold out the whole note. This one's pretty straightforward. Watch out for the rest should look like this and sound like this one and two and and four next one is 16th notes again watch out for the double beam versus your single beam okay so that's the four fingers the one and the e are your separate 16th notes there's your eighth note tied together so there's the and There's your answer to it. Should sound like this. One E and two and three E and four and. This one's pretty straightforward. The only thing, watch out here. Make sure you put the rest in there. One, two, four, Three, and the last one has that syncopation and I'm gonna go really kind of quickly because I'm running out of time. It would look like that. One and, and three and, and one. I hope this slide deck helps you figure out your rhythms and then you can apply it to American Journeys music. Sizzle first, clap 